Hi, I'm Graham Bell, former Olympic downhill skier. And I'm Ross Welch, and I'm a professional slope style skier. We're here with Atomic, an ERV, Specialist Winter Sports Insurance, and we're looking at ways of preparing you physically for that winter sports skiing holiday. And in this video, we'll be looking at ski-specific balance and coordination exercises. This effectively is the fun bit, but it's also one of the most important things for skiing and snowboarding because skiing and snowboarding are balanced sports and uh, you've got to have good balance and coordination to be able to ski and snowboard well. But that's it, yeah, definitely. As we said uh, previously, uh, when you're skiing, obviously you're not on a stable surface, so uh, that's where all of these uh, techniques and tricks and tips and stuff will come into play on the slopes. There's plenty of things that you can do in the gym. When I was weight training a lot, uh, I used to do a balance session after a heavy weight session, just because when my muscles were tired, I wanted to feel like I could get that kind of balance back in them as well. So there's stuff that you can do in the gym, but there's plenty of things you can do outside as well. That's it, and I mean, it's always trying to break, break down barriers. If, if you can already do it, then you know it's, it's not doing you any further good. So, for instance, if you can walk on medicine balls and try and walk for longer, or uh, if you balance for a set amount of time, again, you know, uh, mix it up and make it different and fail in order to succeed. Yeah, exactly that. So, walking on medicine balls uh, is a classic one of doing in the gym, um, and it's very ski specific because you're balancing like on your outside ski. Um, you've got to, not sure how this ball's going to work, you want to make sure that you get your weight committed over the ball before you transfer the weight to the next ball. All right, I've got a choice of balls here. I'm going to go for the black one. This is pretty wobbly. Right. <laughs> and that's it, you can, you can really mix it up with all different sizes of balls, you know. Uh, if you've done it all with one size or one uh, type of firmness, uh, then by yeah, changing it and making it harder for yourself, um, will really test all your muscles and build upon, upon your balance. So what else have we got? We've, got the, we've, got, we've also got the classic wobble board. Show us what you do on the wobble yeah, board. Yeah, no problem. So uh, multiple things on the wobble board. Uh, generically, um, you can stand on it sideways. Uh, that's it, and really test your balance. Uh, now once you've done that, uh, you might want to try some squats with it. Okay. And you might want to do some catching exercises. <laughs> there we go. Or, okay. or you may want to bring your feet slightly closer together to, uh, to make things just a bit harder. And then again, you can incorporate the throwing up the medicine ball, whatever you want. But typically, very good for your for your snow sports uh, balance. There. You can also stand. <laughs> you can also stand forward back as well on the wobble board. So you can go one leg, particularly if you've had an injury, because uh, what you want to do is build up the proprioception, which is the ability of your mind to work out where your body is in space. We call that proprioception. And forward aft balance, uh, I find is a lot harder to get than the side, the lateral balance. So standing on the, on the wobble board with it forward and back is, is quite a bit harder than with it side to side. And if you want to make things more difficult on the wobble board, stand on it and try and do it with your eyes shut. And that It's funny how you, when, it once you take a, take a sense out of the equation, uh, then yeah, how that really does again affect your balance. We've also got Swiss balls. Uh, Now you've got to be a little bit careful with Swiss balls. You'll see videos online of ski racers jumping from one Swiss ball to another. Uh, particularly in a gym setting, uh, I wouldn't get up and stand on a Swiss ball. If you're going to do that, uh, try it on a soft, grassy field, so that if you're going to fall off, it's not going to hurt too much. And it'll also stop the ball from moving around too much. And don't put too much air in the ball if you're going to learn to stand on it. Uh, but you don't need to stand. You can go kneeling on a Swiss ball, which is also great for your balance. He says losing his balance. So kneeling on the Swiss ball. You can do kneeling on the Swiss ball, catching a medicine ball. I just lost it again. Let's say these things have got to be challenging. If you can do them, then make it more difficult. <laughs> uh, 
Um, as I said, unicycling is a great one for skiing. Uh, slacklining as well. If you've got a chance to get yourself a slackline, if you've got mates who've got a slackline, uh, all you need is a couple of trees. Uh, I've got one outside, um, so we're going to go out and have a quick go on the slackline as well. Um, but yeah, all of these things that you can do that challenge your balance and coordination definitely help with your skiing and snowboarding. So yeah, slacklining, you can pretty much do it anywhere. All you need is a couple of trees. We're in the car park outside of Atomic Headquarters. Here we go. Show us what you've got. <laughs> <laughs> Safe to say, I'm, uh, I'm pretty poor at slacklining, I think. But but <laughs> another hour of that and you'll be walking the whole, uh, walking we'll to, the whole line. We'll have to continue with yeah, it then. But, yeah. uh, show us how it's done, Graham. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs>